the plank. One of the foundational core exercises, we're always trying to train that stability of the core before we try to get dynamically moving. This is one of the exercises of master to do that. In that position, the way we're going to set this up is we're going to place our forearms ideally parallel to each other. Now, if you need to, you can turn your hands to palms facing each other, but it does make it a little bit tougher, so we prefer those palms to the sky. Get away from the habit of holding on where your shoulders are going to be way more involved. This position is making it much tougher on the core itself and keep the shoulders out of the position. So set those forearms parallel to each other and that elbow will be positioned directly below the shoulder. Then we're going to get back onto our toes. Now from here our goal is to make ourselves as long as possible. So my heels are reaching to the wall behind me. The crown of my head is reaching to the wall in front of me. I'm going to maintain that double chin and then I'm gonna get that good tuck. So my butt cheeks are gonna tuck underneath me, my belly is pulling in, and I feel that tension in my core. As we fatigue out, if you feel that arch starting to come and that tension shift to your low back, that's a sign we're losing that tuck. Rest, reset, and keep that tension in the front. Now if you need to regress that slightly to make it a little bit easier on your upper body, we're gonna go into a high plank position. So we're gonna set the hands just below the shoulders as if you were gonna set up for a push-up. Now from the knees, I can get that tuck, get my belly braced and my position set, and then walk back to that high plank position. This will make it a little bit easier because your upper body will be involved and it's a good option for you to use to build up to that plank. 